the evening will be Jared White. And just like with Paul, we were planning on having Jared read in August. And I thought it would be fun to email a bunch of Jared's friends, colleagues, etc., and all have them give me an adjective that either describes Jared or Jared's writing. But I got sentences. Um, and so what I decided to do for Jared's bio is I collaged most of them together. So this is a collaborative collage for our dear Jared. Which has one from his wife, too. So yeah. Woo. Yeah, fiance way back when we started this. So here it is. Jared White is like a community center, a place that brings people together with childlike enthusiasm and thoughtful curiosity. His mind is so encyclopedic, his iPhone uses him to look shit up. <laughs> his poems are like butter, and as wide a voice as an ocean full of blood. His poems have you surrounded and could stand like this forever. His poems have you surrounded like a group of photoshopped children. <laughs> he also thinks about the condition of happiness. He really can climb inside of something and fully dismember it <laughs> from the inside out to the umpteenth degree. There's no limit to his imagination or his ability to articulate ideas or illusions. He has an eye at every moment for beautiful things, facts, possibilities, stones, and his mind leaves none unturned. In his poetry, as in his life, Jared White brings together keen intelligence, unwavering compassion, and boundless curiosity. Reading his poems is kind of like taking a hike with him along the California coastline. You may get a bit out of breath. You feel your mind working. You smell salt and wild sage in the air. In other words, Jared White is to poetry what Out One is to film. <laughs> Everyone, give a really, really warm welcome to a dear friend of mine and an inspiration, Jared White. I feel, like I, every, I, I feel like I owe everyone in the room a hug, and probably everyone in the world. <laughs> oh my god, wow, thank you, Stephen, thank you, everyone. Um, uh, all right, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read this poem first, um, and I, I wanted to read a long poem. I think I'm going to read the second half of it. So, so uh, This first poem, this is from like this series of, Mur of paintings of Miro that I've been writing, um, sort of inspired by. And this one's one of the ones where he just calls them painting. I think he has a type. So this poem is painting. The casuists kissed. They loved each other so much they loved the worm in the plot. They leaned in so close, the eyes made separate eyes, so there were four of eyes, like pumice and gravel and sand and dust and fly poop of I have an idea. Someone said you could lose an eye. Mind your spaces. Mind the things between the spaces and the things inside and outside of the things, and the surfaces, between the things, and the spaces, and the, the corners, and the crannies, and the curves, and the fur, they kissed wet and wet against wet. And in the meantime, when the worm had been cut in half to make two worms, the worms said, what's your name? That's my name, too. They kissed coincidence. They kissed communism. They kissed dirty, sin, shared, sanitized. Almost they kissed a convent or a monastery, depending on the glands feels good being checked for a problem, though there isn't a problem, in the shape of the neckline, the contents of the neck, the hunchbacks, the Neanderthals, the hunting of the unicorn, esophagus, and windpipe side by side, and barely distinguishable. We are philosophers. We love knowing how to learn to know, and we are so happy to know what we know. We're so happy to know something approximate and probable. I am not I, says I. I am what is. Remember what we were going to do after, but then the spills became the scenery. They kissed their own tongues and were nearly scenic. Earthenware checkers, marathoners on a Grecian urn. It's easy to pick up a rock, 
and cock an arm and throw some look of love, waiting, waiting at a broken code of thinking is not an illusion. It's more act, more amour. So many infinities, the odds, the odds and evens, the irrationals, the imaginary. Some skies are bigger, but they're all the same. They kissed into the universe, as if outer space is the universe and in my cheek isn't. But they kissed my cheek, and they kissed the Southern Cross. They kissed the North Star, the Dog Star, and Alpha Centauri. They kissed licking their lips from brightest to invisible, and then I pressed a button. Could you have contrived such interruptions as would make the things exist? Could you say when the brush was done brushing? This is the best of all possible worlds, and there are so many that are better worlds, but all of them are totally impossible. <laughs>